the drivers on the road are pretty crazy these days so the best thing you can really do to protect yourself is get one of these it's a dash cam that i bought on amazon yeah i want to have it mounted up here behind the rear view mirror there's a little screen that's on it so i should be able to see it when it's up top here not sure how good it's going to stick up on this spot here i got some of the really good double-sided tape so i'll see how that works <laughs> pieces come separate the dash cam right here this one is the gps antenna when you have that connected it'll actually set the time and date and also shows the location on the camera and then the other thing i have is sd card it's supposed to be made for higher temperatures so you know the sun on the windshield isn't going to damage the, uh, the sd card i'm gonna go ahead and get this unboxed real quick got the dash cam right here it's got the little screen up front you can adjust the lens. Comes with two mounting brackets. Comes with a cord here, it's a USB cord. Plugs into this power plug. All right, it's got two power outputs, so if you wanted to plug something else in there, you could plug it in here. And then it's got some clips that you can use. So if you're trying to dress up the wire, you could do that. It's got a warranty card, 24 months. User's manual, which most people probably don't read. And then this is the GPS antenna which plugs into the back here. And then of course the SD card. SD card goes into the side here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in now. First thing I'm going to do is just attach the mounting bracket to the camera and just test it out just to see where I can mount it. about probably right here I'm gonna have it go up as far as I can get it just make sure that whenever you do this you clean the surface real well and I needed both my hands so I went ahead and stuck that bracket up top off camera so all I gotta do here is just clip the dash cam up top slides down and I already messed up I do have it pretty high up and this connector isn't going to fit right there. So got to take that bracket off, move it a little bit lower. I got both cords plugged in. And when I put it up and push this bracket all the way down. So that way I know how high up it's actually going to go. So I got it up on the windshield. I'm just going to power it up just to test it out. So when you power it up, it's going to ask you the language you want to use. We're going to use English today. Now there's the up button here and the down button. This is your emergency record button and this is your OK button. So we're going to select English, hit OK. And we don't even need to do the date and time because once I drive the vehicle outside of the garage, the GPS antenna will pick it up. So that'll set automatically. I'll take this out on the road and then I'll actually do a recording of what's on the dash cam just so you can see the picture quality and then compare it to, to the GoPro. Now this isn't really a fair comparison comparing a $69 dash cam to a GoPro 7, but um, I just wanted to show the difference. The GoPro, it's recording at 1080p at 60 frames. And the dash cam is 1080p and I want to say it's 30 frames, could be wrong. This is the dash cam view. And this is the GoPro view. And then you can compare the audio between both of them. This is the audio for the dash cam. And this is the audio with the GoPro. Now 
Now I don't have everything wired up exactly how I want it yet. I was running along down here underneath the, uh, the A-pillar garnish. It's running down to the side behind the dash. Going across here. I have the wire going from, I got it right there. From this side all the way to the other side. And I got it plugged in here right now. I'm gonna try to wire it into the fuse block that I'm gonna put together for the amp rack. Next video, I'll go ahead and get started on that amp rack. Hopefully get some power to that system pretty soon, but we'll just have to see.